Let's do a math problem. What is 30 divided by two and a half? In school, we would do this problem by long division. We would set up 30 as the dividend. The number two and a half, which is our divisor, becomes 2.5. Now to perform the long division, we need to move the decimal point over. So two and a half becomes 25. Since we move the decimal point to the right, we're going to have to adjust it on 30. So we move the decimal point over to the left. Or do we move the decimal point over to the right? And when we move it over to the right, we have an empty spot. So do we add a zero? All right, this is getting confusing. But don't worry about it. This is Presh Talwalker. In this video, I'm going to teach you an easy way to divide numbers that's known as the ancient Egyptian method. Let's return to our problem and forget everything that you've learned in school. I'm going to teach you how the ancient Egyptians did this around 1650 BC, which was over 3,600 years ago. This problem is documented on a papyrus, and the method they use is they counted up multiples of the divisor two and a half. So they started out by saying one part is two and a half. And we're going to count up parts until we get to 30. So two parts of two and a half, we double two and a half to get five. And then we can also take 10 parts of two and a half to get 25. And now we've pretty much solved the problem. We can add up five and 25 to get 30. So we're adding up to 30, which is because we're doing 30 divided by two and a half. And now to get our answer, our quotient, we just add up the parts. So we add up two parts and 10 parts and we get 12. And that's our answer, 30 divided by two and a half is 12. So it's a pretty cool method and you can use it anytime instead of long division. So let's try another problem. Let's do 100 divided by seven. We're going to count up multiples of 7 until we get to 100. So we start out that one part is equal to 7. We can clearly jump to 10 parts, which will be 70. We're still short by about 30. So we can add 4 parts of 7, which is 28. We're short by 2 parts, or 2, until we get to 100. So 2 sevenths parts will be equal to 2. So now we've added up multiples until we get to 100. So we have 70 plus 28 plus 2, and that gets us to our 100. To get our quotient, we add up the number of parts. We have 10 parts, 4 parts, and 2 seventh parts, which gets us to our answer of 14 and 2 sevenths. And there you go. This is an easy way to divide numbers, and you don't have to use long division. If you were to ask people about this in school or try and look this up on the internet, it's also known as the partial quotient method. This is a valid way to divide numbers. You may hear that this is new math or part of the common core curriculum. But whenever people tell you that it's new math, just tell them this is actually very ancient. It was developed 3,600 years ago by Egyptians and they actually used it. If you like this video, please check out another video I made about how Egyptians multiplied numbers using only the process of doubling and adding. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can get my books. They're great books about math. There are links in the video description. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook and Google+. You can follow me at Presh Talwalker on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Pinterest. And you can support me on Patreon.